Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Banjo Tooie. In the last episode, we went inside a chinky, a, a chinky, yeah, a chinky steez wedge. <laughs> a chinky steez wedge. I'm gonna remember that for. I'm gonna remember that for ages. Stinky, a uh, chinky steez wedge. Um, okay, so we went inside that to get Jiggy and a Jinjo. We also um, did some things with Kazooie and blah blah blah. In this episode, we're going to finish off Cloud Cuckoo Land. I'm pretty sure we're gonna click it up, finish it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna clinch off uh, Cloud Fufu -Fu Land. Okay, let's get on with this. Okay, so we want to go outside the blue entrance, the one where the blue Mumbo School is. So let's make our way over there. We're gonna want to go over there as Mumbo as uh, yeah as Ban as Banjo alone in order to get this next Jiggy that we're going for. It's a uh, and I will say. I hope this is the I hope this is the one. Jeez, I don't think it is though. Let's hope it is. I really hope it is. Yes, it is. Okay, okay. I was worried this wasn't the right entrance. But anyways, there's a flower next to. Well, actually, no. You need to you need to climb a vine first, and then there will be a flower. They're supposed to go in his banjo, and it takes you straight to a jiggy, actually. But make sure you have the move that you get in this world first before do it, before going through this flower. Just letting you know. So you land on top of this red jelly castle. Gelatin castle, castle actually. Then you get into your shack pack. And by doing that, you can go inside here and get yourself a free Jiggy. Probably the easiest Jiggy in all of Cloud Cougar Land. So that's 85. We just got five more left in the entire game. All right. Okay. So our next door business is to switch to Kazooie because Kazooie has a race to fulfill. And once she wins this race, we will get ourselves another Jiggy, and that will leave only one Jiggy left in all of Cloud Land. Well, two if you count the last Jinjo, which we also don't have yet. Where that last Jinjo is, our mains be seen. But one thing's for sure, we do I do know exactly where to go is Kazooie alone, so we just need to get to that banjo pad. Switch back to Kazooie, and then we'll be on our way. So how are you guys doing today? I am still a little tipsy, just so you know, because this is the same recording session as the past few episodes where I've been drinking a little bit, so... Yeah. Anyways, uh... Kazooie needs to go... Oh yes, that's right, that's right, that's right. Kazooie... Needs to go up this way, up this path right here. Jeez, maybe it's, maybe it's not just this world that's cuckoo. Maybe maybe I'm cuckoo as well, you know? Maybe it's, maybe this world is making me go cuckoo, I don't know. It's the final war of the game. I'm gonna miss this game. I'm gonna miss this game so much, guys. It's, it, this game is so much fun. I'm gonna miss it so much, you know? I mean, like, this game has grown on me even more because it's Let's Play. I will say that much. Okay, so you wanna you wanna put on these shoes before you go out there because they're... really, just just really, really. Are you serious, man? Are you serious? Well, to be fair, that, that pathway is pretty skinny, so I'm actually not, not, not... I can't be too angry at myself for that. Okay, Kazooie, it's race time. You're at the track meet. Time to put on your racing cleats. Racing spikes, or whatever. I think I... Yeah, I actually sell some spikes of my own. Well, probably still back at my dad's house. I don't know. It's been years since I used those. But anyways, here we go. Racing shoes. Let's put them on use them. I see you have your running shoes on. Do you think you can beat me to the finish line in the gold medal? Hell yeah! Hell yeah should be an option, not not just yes. That's lame. Yes is lame. Hell yeah is new yes. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. All right. Yeah. Even with the running shoes, though, this is a little difficult though, because he can't catch it. Well, difficult. I use that word useless. You uh, loosely, not not uselessly, loosely. Okay. Give us our Jiggy, please. I, I lost. I can't believe I was beaten by a bag of feathers. Take my medal. I'm off to the gym to for train for next season. There's a gym up here in Cloud Cuckoo Land? Jeez, maybe he's the one who's cuckoo. Anyways, there it is. Another Jiggy. So that is 86 right there. Okay, so we have one more Jiggy left in Cloud Cuckoo Land. We're also missing a Jinjo. What could that be? Well, Mumbo did say he has a surprise for us. In, well, he didn't say it, but I, mean, but I told you guys before, Mumbo has a surprise for us in his red skull. So, anyways. Let's go see that surprise, because maybe, just maybe, it might be that one Jiggy that we're missing. So let's go find out, shall we? 
after you. Into the red door. Let's see what Mumble has for us. Mumble, yeah, Mumble. <laughs> All right. What do you have inside your red skull here, here, Mumbo? Uh, wait, what? Mumbo, you don't have a Minjo, but instead you have the final Jinjo of the game in here. The Blue Jinjo family is complete. They would like you to have this. All this time, Mumbo had the final Jinjo of the game. He was holding a captive in his hut. Mumbo. Mumbo, we gotta talk about this, man. First you have a Minjo inside your blue skull, and now you have a real Jinjo inside your red skull. What is up with that, man? Dude, you gotta talk to me about this. Why are you sleeping? He's sleeping this time. Hello, Banjo. Mumbo has big surprise for you. Ooh, I like surprises. Well, I like surprises too. Especially if said surprise involves getting whacked in the head by electric staff. Mingi Jongo, crafty shaman impersonator. Our, our, our foolish bear, you fell straight into my trap. I'm not that pathetic shaman you think I am. I'm Mingi Jongo, and your worthless quest ends here. As you can see, there's no escape, and resistance is futile. Yes, Mumbo is a Terminator this time. So yes, here it is, your ba your boss battle of Bakugalan. My leopard disguise is ruined, revealing my evil psychoticness. Okay, so this boss battle is actually kind of difficult. It's really difficult to avoid electric shocks, but if you just uh, maneuver correctly, then it won't be a problem. Of course, I'm not really verbally explaining well. I'm only doing it, you know, just on screen for you. So yeah, he takes eight hits in order to kill, so it's gonna be a... And it doesn't get much easier, trust me. My suggestion would just just to be um, don't try to jump to avoid them because that'll actually make you more likely to get hit. Rather, simply um, just just yeah, just move left and right. You'll be fine. It's pretty much the way to avoid these electric shock currents, electric shocks or whatever. I'm pretty sure all the is that he's hanging with is just electricity. That's literally it. Okay, so I think it's after four times that he gives you a chance to hit him. Yep, just like that. Okay. All right, just two more. We almost got this. For some people, though, this fight this might be a lot easier because they're using some people are using the honey back cheat by now, so that can make this boss fight a little too easy for you. All right, just one more hit. Yeah, he literally is the Terminator here. I mean, like seriously. I mean, first we had Minjos, now we have Mickey Jongo. Is he like the king of them or something? Czar, I calculate my chances of stopping you are now a minimal. Remember? Oh, gross. Robot blood. <laughs> my god. Hey, he just explodes. So it was actually Mingi Jongo that was holding that final Jinjo hostage. How fitting. But like I said before, like in the very beginning of the game, when we first came inside uh, Mumbo's skull in uh, Mayhem Temple, I really loved the music inside you know, Mumbo's, Mumbo's hut. Grant Kirkhope made a boss theme out of this music. He made a boss theme out of this music. But in the words of a fellow YouTuber, Grant Kirkhope can make a boss team out of a telephone ring. He's just that good. An epic boss team, might add. And so that, my friends, is 88 Jiggies. And with that, we have all of the Jiggies of Cloud Cuckoo Land. And all the Jinjos of Cloud Cuckoo Land, as well as the entire game. In fact, all we are missing entirely is just two Jiggies. One in Grunty Industries and one in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And we are going to be getting those because we still have five minutes left here. Might as well, I mean, seriously. But just be sure, let's make sure our tools are correct here. 10 out of 10 jiggies, 100 notes, 3 honeycomb pieces, 5 jinjos, 3 note pages, 1 move, and 2 globos. Yes, we are. So, we're going to die one more time. One more time on purpose here because, seriously, 
it's faster to just uh, warp to the beginning of warp to the entrance of the world than to make all of our way to the um, central cavern with the warp pad and whatnot. So yeah, I was. <laughs> you wouldn't. I if only I was doing this game blind. Let me tell you, like I, I want to see a blind let's play this game honestly, just to see the reaction to you know the the Mickey Jongo thing. Because I think honestly, if there's anything that's worth watching a blind LP of this game for. It would definitely be that. Just see that Mumbo has a surprise where you only find out you get you get hit in the head with a electric staff. I don't think that first hit actually counts as a hit though. Like it, you know, the hit that you get in the that you get in the cutscene. But it'd be pretty pretty interesting if it was though, because then you could potentially die like right before the battle starts. Okay, so keep in mind. Well, actually, uh, what should I do first? I should, should I get those last two jiggies, or should I take care of the other business first, like like in the final health extension and the last cheat? Well, I say, let's go for the final health extension and the last cheat. How about that? Because we've already done what we need to do with all the last two jiggies, so let's uh so first things first we need to go to the quagmire to get that last jiggy in grunty industries let's do that shall we oh man okay i've already de i've already dedicated myself to it so i'm gonna do it all right grunty industries but we're only in here just to get one jiggy don't worry it's not gonna be anything annoying or anything like that okay so so what so now that we're back in grunty industries we have go inside the factory basically we're going to the waste disposal unit that's where we're going that's where our last jiggy is and you need the sack pack in order to get this move. That's why you can't get until after World 8. After Cloud Cuckoo Land. I don't know why I still feel need to say World 8 instead of Cloud Cuckoo Land. I mean, seriously, we've seen every world in this entire game now. Like, we've, we've even seen a glimpse of Cauldron Keep, which is the final area of the game. It's like this game's equivalent to um, Hideout Helmet Donkey Kong 64, if you don't know. So you drop down inside here. And I think we need to raise the goop up again, actually. You're going to need the goop to be at its high... Or, not the goop, necessarily, but the uh, radioactive waste. You're going to need to, be, need to be at the highest points in order to get this to this jiggy. And once again, you're also going to need to separate banjo to see I hope there's... Are there split pads in here? I don't remember, actually. Yes, there are, actually. They're right here, over right here. They're right over here, aren't they? Yes, they are. So Banjo and Kazooie separate. We're going to make our way over here. Now get your sack pack ready. Because with this, you'll be able to hop across this radioactive waste. How that works, I have no freaking idea, but it does. So get across here. Hit this switch as Banjo. And now you'll finally be able to get this Jiggy. By the way, I'd like to add, this is the Jiggy that we saw from Jolly Rogers Lagoon, all those episodes ago, like way back in episode like what twenty something, we are now finally getting it. Just now, towards the end of the game. Okay, there's now only one more jiggy left in the entire game. So, in order to get this jiggy, it's going to take a little bit more effort. We're going to have to go to Jolly Ro to Hellfire Peaks actually in order to get this jiggy but it but the jiggy itself is in is for jolly rogers lagoon but we're going to be getting it in hailfire peaks and here's how so first things first we got exit uh grunty industries actually so i will uh meet you guys um outside grunty Industries, so we can make our way to hellfire peaks see you guys there all right so now that we're back out here in the quagmire let's make our way to the uh Flip top, actually. I remember where uh, Hailfire Peaks is, of course. Alright. Alright, so, what we need to do is not head to Jolly Rogers Lagoon, even though that's where the Jiggy is. Actually, we need to head over to Hailfire Peaks. Okay, so you may recall a few episodes ago, we knocked George Ice Cube 
off of Cloud Cuckoo Land and he fell inside of a hot tub in Hailfire Peaks. That hot tub is up here. I was actually, remember, you might recall, way back when I was doing Hailfire Peaks, there was a... I went down here as Banjo alone, and I attempted to press a button down there as Banjo alone. Which you can only do as Banjo alone. <laughs> and instead, what happened when I, when I did that, I was talked to by the pigs in Jolly Rogers Lagoon saying that the water's too hot. Well, an ice cube was dropped in there, and this would never, ever, ever, ever be able to happen in real life, but apparently, just because an ice cube was dropped in here, this water cooled down to just enough that it's cool enough for those pigs to handle down in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. So what you do is, you hit the switch, and the water, the H2O as it says on the door there, it's hilarious, I never noticed that before, will drain into Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And this slightly warmer water will warm up the water in, Jolly Ro in the pool in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And there you have it. At last, we can go for a swim. Here, take this piece of gold that we stole off this smelly bony lady in a big pointy hat. I wonder who that was. It sounds familiar. And guess what? Guess what, my friends? We now have 90 Jiggies as every Jiggy in the entire game. Now, I could have swore... Oh, wait, no, I think I know why. That's right. Because the first time I got 90 Jiggies in my in my original file, I got it, you know, you actually get told by Jam Jars that there's a special prize waiting for you in, on the menus or something like that. Um, in the, in the specials, extras, or something like that, but, either way, um, that's good for today's episode, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Um, next episode, we're gonna make the final preparations before moving on to Cauldron Keep, the final area of the game, and, and essentially the end of the game. So, we are here, guys. We are officially here at the end of the game, and I can't believe it, but it's real. And it is in the next episode. Well, not the next episode, but the episode after. Thank you, guys. Goodbye.